This is Roger with Crosscut in Tucson, Arizona. Formerly Wheel Kinetics. Wheel Kinetics is 15 years old now and we decided that after 15 years we would do an extreme makeover on our website, uh, tweak some things that uh, people have asked for, add some cool stuff, and a uh, name change is appropriate at this stage. Anyway, uh, hopefully you enjoy what you see. It's pretty cool. Anyway, uh, we're selling today a 2005 F250. Uh, it is a 6.0 turbo diesel. It's four-wheel drive. It's an XLT with the FX4 off-road suspension package. Obviously, it's a crew cab and it's a short bed. It has 163,438 miles. It was a new car dealer trade-in to friendly Ford in Las Vegas. Really nice truck. We had it shipped here. Um, got in it, drove it around. Nothing going on whatsoever. We've done thousands of 6.0s. This is our specialty. Nice truck. Really nice truck. We did have to repair the cup holder, which is normal, and stitch the outside uh, edge of the driver's seat cushion, which is also what they all do. Um, it uh, also went to detail and it got back from detail about an hour ago. Um, the previous owner decided, I, I'm sure Friendly Ford didn't do this, but the previous owner decided that they would put brand new 20 inch tires on it right before they traded it in. I don't recommend doing that. It does not increase the value of a vehicle when you uh, trade it in. Um, it looks good, <laughs> but it doesn't help you in the uh, in the trade-in. You just spent. Oh, wow, God, these are nittos too. I think they're uh, three fifteen. No, they're three oh five twenty. No, no, three oh five fifty five twenties. Sorry. Um, so they're they're a good tire, and probably spent about twelve or thirteen hundred dollars on it. Actually, you have two sets of keys. Let's see. You got a lock, unlock on that one. You got a, let's see the other one here. Lock, unlock on that one. All right, comes with two keys. I'm gonna fire this guy up. We'll walk around. Let's see, 163,446 miles. If you can see that, the glare. All right, first thing we want to do is go underneath the hood and look for Ford stamps. Make sure that there's Ford stamps on the, on the fenders and the core support and the hood. There's one there. That'll indicate that they're original parts. They haven't been replaced. Ford stamp there. Should be another one right here, and there is. And another one right here, and there is. And should be another one right there, and there is. We take off the oil cap, we're going to be looking for blow-by. That is excellent. No blow-by at all. That is very good. We got the stickers where they belong for the cat. We're doing really well here. All right. Brand new tires here. Okay. New tire tag on them, right? The purpose of this video is to inform you it's not to sell the vehicle we need this thing to end up in a person in a person's driveway a garage carport whatever that uh, knows all about it okay uh, knows as much as we know about it the only way to do that is to tell you what's happening okay so we do the good and the bad if there's something wrong we would tell you uh, we have plenty of people waiting for these things and six O's right now are just ridiculous there was a time when no one wanted them. Now you can't get enough of them. And we happen to be experts on them, so we're buying them all. At least all the ones that are really good. Uh, and we're paying for them. <laughs> They're expensive now. All right, uh, there's your VIN. This is a Carfax value. They basically, uh, history, basically they blend the history and the Kelly Blue Book, and they come up with a retail value of $18,020 for this truck. Let's see, no accidents reported. Here's your VIN. No accidents, blah, blah, blah. Two previous owners. Nothing going on there. Boring, boring, boring. So it looks like it was born in Scottsdale. Nice neighborhood, right? 
Then it moved to Vegas, where the second owner took it in 2005 and had it for a long time. Took it in for its uh, services and it had really good success at emissions. Passed all their emissions first time. Bum, 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 bum. 162,228. It just passed emissions. So we got that going for you. This is where they peel up. We had to stretch it out and get it to sit back where they go. They all do that, which is kind of annoying because you can't buy new seats anymore. You have to fix it. Don't ever let anyone throw that away. If it, if it does it again, peels off, don't throw that away. Call an interior guy and have him come repair it for you because believe it or not, that's a pain in the ass. It seems like a pretty easy thing to replace. They don't sell that at the at Ford or anywhere. You have to buy the whole seat and there are no more. So, there you go. Little uh, Ford advice. Looks like somebody left their tools in my truck after they did the detail. That's helpful. I think we're going to be looking at a new detail. See our little plates here? That's our new symbol, right? It's pretty cool. Oh, you know what I noticed? There's a little ding right here. That's probably the biggest blemish on this truck, or really the only real major one. There's a couple little ones. I encourage you, if you're worried about uh, cosmetics, to go through the photo gallery really closely. Um, that way, you'll have no surprises between the video and the uh, and the photo gallery. You should be very well informed. Here's your bin. Okay. Window. 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 This is where it was torn, right here on the seat. Guy came in and stitched this morning, right after he got back from detail. Down, up, tilt up, tilt down, tilt up, tilt down. The seat, I mean the steering wheel tilt. Here's your mirrors, out, in, up, down. Other side, out in, up, down, all right, that's that. I'm gonna get some air conditioning. It's gonna be like 95 today in Tucson, which is not really hot, but it takes about a month or two to get used to the hundreds and it's starting to, starting to happen here, starting to percolate. All right, so like I said, it does, I don't know if I told you, I don't know if you noticed back there, but there was a, around the license plate frame, there's a backup camera mounted to it. Obviously, there is no backup camera here or viewer place to view it. So he probably put this back in and took his nice system out. I left the backup camera there. It does have a USB port, I think, in it. Yeah, right here. And it does make music. But obviously, you'd probably want to upgrade that. We don't do that because music is pretty, uh, and radios are pretty, uh, um, personal people want either really nice or they don't care at all so we stopped doing radios a long time ago all right there's toe on and off right windshield wipers boom 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 you got cruise control on a ford you can only do it while you're moving um let's see i'm gonna put it in neutral i'm gonna go all the way back to four low i gotta go all the way back to four low there we go four low boom oh my god that is definitely granny gear and that'll open the gate in reverse yeah you can walk a little faster than that in, in four low all right now we're gonna go up to four high which is right there okay now the flow range went away now it's four by four much quicker okay in reverse and four high Boom, okay. Neutral, now we're gonna go back up. Now we're in two wheel drive. All right, let's go for a ride. If you come to Tucson to drive this truck home, uh, which you're welcome to do, it's got high rubber and it runs great, cold air, um, you'll pay the following. You'll pay your state tax rate, whatever that is. Plus our city tax of 2.7% and a $250 dock fee, okay? If you pay by wire and ship this truck out of state, all you're gonna pay is agreed upon price and that's it. There'll be no tax, no dock fee, nothing, okay? Um, once we receive your wire, we'll fill out the title with your name or your company's name and address. 
We will sign it off to you, scan it in your online file, and mail it to you. We even scan in the envelope we mail it in, okay? Um, if you need help with shipping, let us know at the beginning of the transaction. I can do it for you. We can roll the uh, price of the shipping into the price of the truck for your loan if you need one. Um, or we can just give you some phone numbers. You can do it yourself. Um, uh, but obviously people want their property quickly. So I'm pretty good at it. If you need help, let me know. Okay. Or you're welcome to just do it all yourself. We have several people who bought many vehicles from us many people who bought many vehicles from us over and over again and now they're professionals they don't even need me they they haven't paid for and shipping out the day they paid for them it's pretty amazing <laughs> you know wire this and central dispatch and the truck's gone and we're paid and that's that um if you're one of them disregard but if you need help let me know okay um bu -bu 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 -bu. deposits five hundred dollars once we have a deposit we have a deal until then it will stay for sale so please get that five hundred dollar deposit in um, so that we can take it off the market and it's yours. These are not growing on trees and in this condition, they're very, very hard to find, okay? Um, in fact, we're buying them now with, with blown motors so that, uh, you know, and then we're buying motors and put them in. This thing is a great motor and we got really, really lucky. Look at this dust devil right here. Check that out. I'm gonna let it pass. There we go. That was kind of cool. There you go. That's a Tucson Tornado. Anyway, uh, so anyway, get your deposit. Last part of every video I say this, and I say this every single time for every single car we've ever sold online as Wheel Kinetics and now it's Crosscut also. We don't have salesmen, we don't have bottled water with our name on it, we don't have a fancy location, uh, uh, we don't have an attendant serving scones and lattes and sandwiches. Um, we also don't uh, do another thing that they do there uh, at the new car dealerships, used car property. We uh, know, and they know, that when uh, they sell you this truck at the new car dealership on their used car property, if something breaks, you're gonna come in and say, God, I just paid a fortune for this truck and I want it fixed. Well, they also include five to $700 or so in future repairs when they sell it to you in the price of the vehicle. So sure, they'll fix it and you already paid for it. We're not charging you for future repairs. We're not charging you for high rent that we pay because we pay a dollar a year to a family member for our property. Uh, we have two two employees, me and my brother, <laughs> all right? And uh, uh, we don't have a, attendance and scones and bottled water with our name on it. That all saves you money. That's how we do it. That's why people are like, well, I thought it was too good to be true. It was too cheap, blah, blah, blah. That's why I didn't buy. I wish I would have bought the last one or the one before. That's why. <laughs> it's the real deal. It's just we don't have to make all that money, but we can't have these vehicles sitting around forever. Okay, we're not rich, uh, we're good at this, and uh, we don't want this truck sitting around forever. So we price it fairly so that there's a lot of money left in it for you, so that if something breaks, you will be fine fixing it with your money, which we'll insist on. Okay, on day one, you'll be the owner. All right, let me be quiet for a second. This road, by the way, is horrible. I don't know if you can tell, but basically we're four-wheeling right now. Pretty tight truck, this truck is really tight. Anyway, um, I think that's about it. I'm gonna park it up here for my brother to take photos of. Um, hell of a nice truck. Uh, I drive these things pretty much for a living. Six O's, this is what I do. This is a tight one, really nice truck. I think I took good care of it. I love vehicles that come out of, of Las Vegas. The climate's perfect, there's no real off-roading there. Uh, a, they don't let you, and B, there's nowhere to go. Um, so, they're pretty much street cowboys there, or they're delivering stuff or I don't know why you would own this uh, an off-road truck like this but it's pretty cool uh, I think that's it thank you for your time